Hello, it's Mrs. Foltz, and it's time to read our next Star Wars story. I hope you had a great day. It was beautiful outside today. Mr. Foltz, Ellie, and I went on a very long walk. Whew, I needed that sunshine. All right, are you ready to read? A Jedi you must become. Luke Skywalker would become one of the greatest Jedi Knights in the galaxy, but he wasn't always a powerful Jedi. In the beginning, he was just a boy, no different from any other. Luke fought bravely as a pilot for the Rebellion. He even destroyed the Death Star. But Luke decided that he could best help the Rebels if he trained to become a Jedi Knight. In a vision, Luke's old friend, Obi-Wan Kenobi, said to him, You must go to the Dagobah system. There you will learn from Yoda, the Jedi Master. Luke knew that Obi-Wan would only appear to him if his message was very important. Luke and his droid R2-D2 flew to the Dagobah right away. Dagobah was not what Luke expected. He thought a Jedi Master would live on a beautiful, serene world, but that was not what Dagobah was like at all. The planet was wet, muggy, and crawling with bugs, critters, and wild animals. It could be summed up with one word, gross. When Luke landed, his X-Wing fighter sank right into the marsh water. Suddenly, Luke felt someone watching him and he spun around, pulling his blaster. Standing in front of Luke was a pale green creature with big pointy ears. I am wondering why are, why are you here? The creature asked. I'm looking for a great warrior, Luke replied. The creature shook his head. A great warrior, wars not make one great. Luke had to admit the creature had a point. I am looking for a Jedi Master, he explained. Oh, Jedi Master, the creature said. Yoda, you seek Yoda. The creature promised to take Luke to Yoda, but first the creature stopped at his home and fed Luke dinner. With no sign of Yoda anywhere, Luke grew impatient. We're wasting our time. The creature turned away from Luke. I cannot teach him. The boy has no patience. He is not ready. Luke suddenly realized that this was no ordinary creature. Yoda! Yoda laughed at Luke. Adventure! <laughs> Excitement, heh. <laughs> a Jedi craves not these things. You are reckless. Luke told Yoda that he had learned so much already and he was not afraid. Finally, Yoda agreed to train him. Luke's first test was to run through a swampy obstacle course. As Luke trained his body, Yoda helped him develop his mind. A Jedi uses the force for knowledge and defense, Yoda said, never for attack. Luke began to understand that being a Jedi was less about him and more about helping others. Luke also learned to move objects with the force. One day, Luke stacked a tower of rocks with his mind while standing on his head. But as Luke Place the final rock, his X-Wing began to sink deeper into the swamp. Luke lost his concentration and fell to the ground with a thud. Thinking about trying to raise his ship from the muck, Luke said to Yoda, moving stones around is one thing, but this is totally different. No, no different. You must unlearn what you have learned, Yoda said. Luke concentrated again. 
He knew that he would one day have to confront Darth Vader, the powerful Sith Lord. He needed to be as strong in the Force as possible. Luke turned back to the sunken X-wing X -wing, and said, All right, I'll give it a try. Yoda stopped Luke, saying, Do or do not, there is no try. Luke concentrate, concentrated on Yoda's words and lessons, letting the Force flow through him. Slowly, the X-Wing began to rise. Luke was as surprised as R2-D2 was excited. The little droid exclaimed with his own brand of beeps and whistles. But Luke struggled with his doubts. He knew that an X-Wing was very heavy. How could he possibly manage to lift it? Slowly, the ship sank back into the swamp. Luke was sad and discouraged. I can't, it's too big. Size matters not, Yoda said. Look at me, judge me by my size, do you? Yoda reached out with his tiny old hand and the ship began to move. Yoda concentrated, concentrated even more and the ship floated through the air until it came to rest on solid ground. I don't believe it, Luke said. That, Yoda replied, is why you fail. Luke continued his training more determined than ever. One day, Luke saw a vision through the force. He saw his friend Han Solo and Princess Leia, and they were in trouble. They had been captured by Darth Vader. It is the future you see, Yoda explained. I've got to go get them, Luke insisted. He couldn't bear to think that Han and Leia were in danger. Luke knew that a Jedi Knight was a defender, not an attacker. He acted out of protection rather than anger. It was a Jedi Knight's duty to put other people ahead of himself. Luke felt that he had come far enough in his Jedi training to make his own decisions. Luke decided to put his training on hold and go rescue his friends. I'll return, he told Yoda. I promise. As Luke's ship took flight, Yoda wished that he had more time to help Luke prepare. Luke's battles would not be easy, but he was good at heart. No matter where he went, the Force would be with him always. Oh, even though Yoda was little, he had the strong Force within him because he believed in himself. All right, I will see you guys later. If you haven't gotten outside yet and it's still light outside, ask your parents if you can go run outside and play because it is so nice and warm. Oh, and I love sunshine. All right, goodbye. See you later.